Hello again. In this video we will be taking a look at the sometimes tricky job of replacing broken hanging tiles or hanging slates. First I want to show you how to replace both plain tiles and slates in the correct manner then look at some faster and cheaper methods where it's safe to do so. Now let's take a look at hanging plain tiles. Here I have photoshopped a broken tile into the front of this bay window to simulate the average sort of damage often created by a window cleaner for instance. Unfortunately you can't just slip the broken tile out because every single tile will be nailed including the broken tile. So we will have to strip downwards in a V pattern to get to it. If I just photoshop in the tiles that need to be removed you can see this large white area needs to be taken away to gain access to the nails on the broken tile here. The first place to start is by folding any flashings up and out of the way in the affected area. Here I've removed them with Photoshop to make things a little clearer. This gives us a nice clear view of the top course of tiles and the nail fixings and I would recommend that you check out my related video on how to replace plain tiles later on if you haven't already done so. This can be found in the links at the end of the video and in the description bar. Starting with the very first nail on the very first tile, the best tactic is to wiggle your way underneath the nail head and between the surface of the tile. Often the best tool is the tip of a flat pry bar like the ones in the tool section of my website. Another good method if possible is the claw of a good claw hammer. If the nail is in very firm try a rotational action before gentle levering as this often loosens the grip of the nail and eliminates breakages caused by just levering alone. Now the first row is removed it's just a matter of working your way downwards row by row removing every full tile and eventually the broken tile itself. Ok now we've done the hard part we can concentrate on the much easier task of refixing all the tiles but it's very important to get a good fixing as you do so. If you're using the same sized copper, aluminium or galvanised clout nails try to create a fresh hole rather than use the existing holes which may no longer provide enough grip. Alternatively try to get nails with a slightly larger shank if you need to enter the same holes as before. Screws are also an option but personally I don't like this fixing. Imagine how hard this job would have been with hardened screws that possibly could rust or deteriorate over time. It's not a legacy I like to create for myself or others. After working your way back to the top it's just a matter of tapping the flashings back into place and then it's job done. If you're thinking that's a lot of work for one broken tile well you're right it is but it's by far the safest way regarding good fixings. There is a faster way though for one-off replacements and we'll look at that after replacing hanging slates which we'll take a quick look at now. Here we have some hanging slates and once again I'll photoshop in a breakage like this in a slightly different position to before. Using the same method as the plain tiles we will strip downwards in a V shape to the broken slate ready for removal. If you do have any trouble removing the slate please refer to my video on how to replace slates at the end of the video or via the link in the description bar. Once stripped and the broken slate removed reslating is a simple matter but remember to pay attention to your fixings as before. Now let's turn our attention to faster methods of replacing one or two tiles or slates. This will needless to say be cheaper too and price is always a pressure you come up against when working for others. This is a prime example of a property where a broken hanging tile located here would be disproportionately costly for the sake of one tile. There are provisos though to remain safe and that normally means for yourself if it's your property or the general public at large. And I wouldn't recommend the techniques I'm about to show you if the hanging tiles are above the following. Doors or windows are one example where you or the public might frequent. Either a fully opening window where someone may be leaning out or entry or exit points like doors. Another obvious one could be passageways or pavements or even roads. 
Included in this could also be skylights, glazing, and I'm sure you can think of many other situations where full fixing of all slates or tiles may be the sensible option over the shortcuts we're about to see here. Going back to our first example, let's have a quick look at this similar plain tiled roof on this mansard style roof, where stripping all the way down in a V would be expensive and time consuming. In this example, the tiles we're replacing overhang a flat roof and it's protected by guttering in the rear garden. So a much less thorough solution can be used. Just for the sake of example, I'm going to remove this pretend broken tile with a flat pry bar. Again, this is thoroughly talked about in my video on how to replace plain tiles and it's well worth a watch so you know how to remove these things with minimum breakages. And here you can see I've removed the tile and we're ready for a like for like replacement. One of the problems you may encounter when trying to fit a replacement is the lug size on the rear of the tile. Depending on the make and how tightly the tiles are nailed, the lugs may need a slight trim with an angle grinder or the tip of a claw hammer. Many times though, you can get them back without any need for trimming and they will be fine. One method of stopping the tile rattling out in windy conditions is to place a large dob of silicon or fix all just here as pictured. By placing it here, the silica remains out of the natural water course of the tiles and will not interfere with the water flow. Make sure that all surfaces are dry and free from dust and never use a product like No Nails, as this has no flexibility and will fail over time. Another method is to use or modify a haul hook, as commonly used for slate fixing. If I just switch to Photoshop X-ray mode for a second, we can see how this might work. Here you can see the tiling lath or roofing button that is underneath the two visible tiles and you can fix into this. Next, hammer a clout nail between the two tiles and into the tiling lath. Alternatively, you can make your own not quite so good hook fixing by wrapping some thick gauge copper wire around a nail as shown here. Again, with either of these methods, silicon can be applied as an additional measure. Now, if we swap over to hanging slate, you can see how you could apply this to broken slate as well. But there is also another good method for slate, which I'm going to show you. But first we have to chop out just the broken slate with a slate rip. And this is covered in detail in my video on removing slates linked at the end of the video and in the description bar. With the slate removed, you should have something like this. Now let's swap over to a real life example and you will see how it's done. If I just switch on Photoshop X-Ray again, you can see the slating lath or roof button underneath that we're interested in. This can also be seen by looking between the slates closely or feeling for them with a slither of metal or a slate rip. Here I've marked a line on the slates in the centre of the hidden roof button. Now I've placed the new slate in position, you can see the scratch lines I've created. And in this close up, I've lightly drilled between the slates in this position on the surface of the new slate. With the slate pulled out again, drill a hole that allows your clout nail to just pass through the nail hole. Then slip the slate back into position with the nail hole now over the hidden button. Here I've also pulled apart the two slates as far as they will go. Next, place a small dob of silicon on the underneath of the nail head, as this just helps with a little bit of additional waterproofing. Now drive the nail in until you can't get below the surface of the two fouling slates either side. To get the final fix in depth, I'll normally swap over to a pair of tin snips to drive the nail home, but anything with a flat surface roughly the same width as the nail head will do the job. And here is the nail driven home but not so tight as it may crack the slate or put it under undue pressure. Then just simply wipe off the excess silicon. Once the other slates are pushed back into position, you can hardly see the fixing. And because it's a hanging slate, the lack of water running down the surface, as against with a sloped roof, will ensure no internal leaks. Again, as an option, you can place a dob of silicon in the position you can see here. The reason for that, as before, is to ensure that the water courses are free from blockage. Well, that brings another video to an end. 
Links and support can be found via the website or via the links here or in the description bar. Thanks for watching.